When it comes to Taiwan, most people only ever visit Taipei. But there's more to Taiwan than just that. With the borders now open, we want to show you the beauty that lies in Western Taiwan. So we sent the team over to scout the best things to see and the latest things to do. All within a budget. From scenic landscapes to hidden gems, here's our guide to Western Taiwan to get you started. We kick off the adventure by taking the Taiwan High Speed Rail from Taipei to Taichung, the second largest city in Taiwan. After dropping off your bags at the accommodation, which you can book with Clue, hop on a tour around Taichung and visit historical places such as the old Taichung Station. Yeah, you can also visit Midorikawa, the Green River, and Miyahara Sweet Shop, which used to be an optical clinic. The tour also brings you to the Sun Cake Museum, where you can learn how to make your own sun cakes. For day two, we go on a day trip to hike the Huyan Shan Mountain, or called as the Play Mountain. After a almost two hours hike, we finally Yay! have. We're at the top of the world. Where are you? <laughs> Next, we head down to Chiayi. It's known for its mountains and nature. So to make the most out of your time here, we recommend going on the Alishan Day Tour. The tour brings you to the Alisha National Forest Recreation Area, home to some of Taiwan's most beautiful places. As part of the tour, you also get to visit Hinoki Village. With over 28 Japanese-style houses, you feel like you're really in Japan. And to top it off, you get to rent a yukata! For days 4 and 5, we journey to the ancient capital city of Tainan. Here in Tainan lies the Tendrum Cultural Village. And there are so many things to do, like zip lining, the free fall, and the sky swing. <laughs> And you can even learn how to play the drums here. It's super beginner friendly. We have no experience and we had yeah. so much fun. So definitely check this place out. So now we're at Chicken Tower, one of the most popular landmarks in Tainan. It was built by the Dutch as a fort and now it's just a beautiful attraction that you can visit. And while you're in Tainan, don't forget to explore its arts and streets. There are tons of photo opportunities at every corner. And finally, we reach our last destination, Kaohsiung. Taiwan's maritime capital. We begin by going on a short ferry ride to Xijin Island. From Gushan Ferry Terminal, it's only a 5-minute ride to the island. Remember to grab an easy card, Taiwan's local transport card. With this, you can get a discount on the ferry ticket and won't need to bother with points. Once you're on the island, the best way to get around is to rent an electric rickshaw. First stop is the Kaohsiung Lighthouse. From here, you can catch a panoramic view of Xijin Island and the city. Right now, we're in the Tijin Tunnel of Stars, where you can admire the beautiful light show as you walk through the tunnel. And when you're in Tijin Island, the Rainbow Church is definitely a must visit. It's not actually a church. In fact, it's just a series of structures that are extremely Instagrammable. We are now at the Aira Experience Center. And it's the most extraordinary theatre in Kaohsiung. We got to see a lot of places in Taiwan in seven minutes. And it was really immersive. Like there were 5D effects, there was wind, there was water, it was super cool. And your trip in Kaohsiung at the famous Liu He Night Market. Here you can try some of Kaohsiung's best food and soak in the lively atmosphere the city has to offer. Here's my face! And that wraps up our trip to Western Taiwan. We hope this video has inspired you to explore the lesser known regions of Taiwan. Until next time, the Travel Intern, signing out.